Welcome back to Porch Chats, you guys. Um, this is episode four or five, I think. I don't know. Yeah, honestly. we've actually made a lot at this point. I'm so excited. I feel good about it. Yeah. Um. All right. Today we're going to talk about what? Nothing. You're just you're just being cute. I was just smiling at you. Thanks. You think I'm cute? <laughs> what was Can that I laugh? <laughs> 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 it's like that Justin Bieber video. It's like I like that laugh. Yeah. <laughs> um. um. So today we're talking about. Why you should marry your best friend, which sounds really cheesy, but we've actually been talking about this a lot lately because we have and we're not we just to been talking about anybody, it. But <laughs> we feel like it should be a given that you should marry someone that you marry like. someone you like. Marry someone you like to hang That's out gonna with. be the title of this, this is, title is marry someone you, you like. You clicked on it because you're like I I'm not married to someone I like. And you clicked on it. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> no. Uh, yes, hopefully you marry someone you like, but like that. Not that it should be the biggest thing, but if you are getting married to someone, you're gonna live with them. You're gonna spend a lot of time with them. Yeah, you're gonna be with them for years to come. Kids, careers, houses, different things are gonna change. <laughs> yep. But they're gonna be there. So if you don't like them, what? Where are you gonna be in a year when you're not? Well, and I know that sounds really general, like, but when we say like, not that you dislike. No. Obviously, you're not marrying someone you dislike. You don't like. But well, we because we talk about this really often because I think we have seen and not necessarily seen as much as like also the culture, I think, around like specifically Christian dating is like so high pressure mm-hmm. of like and we've talked about this before of like you uh, meet someone you date them and then like you get married and and you found a good christian and guy if that so you per- have to. yes or if it's someone who is if if they love the lord like that should be enough and like yes like obviously if that person loves the lord like that is enough and they will love you well but just because someone are you friends yeah Do you like to hang out yeah and i think that's a really good question to ask yourselves because truly i'm like there are so many things that I'm obviously married Marcus for and the fact that like he's a he's a spiritual leader right. like I know he loves the Lord I can trust him with my heart I can trust right. him with my family and like that is yes of course like the most important thing but there is also a reality of like those things about Marcus exist in other people yeah would you commit to me if I had all those qualities but yeah. we didn't get along but like, we weren't like like friends. no because like there are things about our personalities and like genuinely like and we say this so much like genuinely i would choose to hang out with marcus before i would choose to hang out with anyone else because he's my best friend like just naturally like let's make this very clear we've been married two years at this point yes but we also are not like in the newlywed phase of like oh my gosh i'd love to be around you like no we have known each other for a very long time and and also grown up together so lots of things have happened yes it's not all been fun there's not it's not every single day that i'm like i'm like you just made me so happy today like sometimes there are days that (laughs) there are days life is different it's hard hard. Yeah, yeah for sure but for the last eight years the person that i've wanted to hang out with the most in life is taylor is my wife and i feel like i don't know i think the reason we wanted to talk about this is because i like see i see like even like women specifically for me like girls talk about this and talk about like well i just like i need to wait for like that like this christian man and like christian leader and like yes absolutely like that is what he should be first and foremost but like don't (coughs) don't like convince yourself that you have to be with a guy like purely because like he loves the Lord. Like it's okay. Like if he loves the Lord, but he is not meant for you. And like, same with like women, like for men, like if it's okay, if like she loves the Lord and like, she's not meant for you. Like, you know what I mean? Cause like, just like I said about Marcus and he could say the same thing about me, you know, like there are things about me because I'm a believer, because the Holy Spirit is in me, that are naturally going to be a part of my character. But that's mm-hmm. not my personality completely. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's well, a difference. Like, if your personality was horrible, but you were a great <laughs> believer, that'd be a big difference. Like, if I didn't like your personality. <laughs> well, yes. But, but there it's are all, like, subject or subjective yeah, but or relative. I don't know what you're trying to say. No, like, 
personality. It's not. Like, there are yeah. so many people, and there is a reality of yes, because I know someone's going to be in, like, well, like, the commonality of the gospel, and even, like, with friendships and relationship. Yes, absolutely. But, but that I can think, be a friend. And that can be a friend, and that can be just, like, someone that God calls you to, to love, like, as a brother or sister in Christ. But, like, you don't have to marry someone yeah. just because they're a believer yeah, you don't and have to hang out with them every day for the rest of your life yeah and i think that there's a way too that like i do think about like i think about the garden like from the beginning the way that god intentionally even yeah. made eve for adam like i know it's, it sounds a little bit cliche but like he made eve for adam like as it a wasn't companion. as a companion like because it was not good for him to be alone and God designed Eve for him. And we've talked about soulmates and that concept before and how we have some varying thoughts on that. But I do think that there's a way in which like God knows you intimately as a person. Like if you spend time with the Lord, like you are like, obviously he deeply knows you either way, but like he knows your desires yeah. even like in another person and sees like your emotional needs and your spiritual needs and mm -hmm. trusting the Lord with that and also not, yeah, like kind of convincing yourself that you have, you know what I'm it's, saying? It's okay. To want <laughs> I don't know why I get so like amped up about yeah. this, but it's okay to want to get along with, like, if you're a a college girl or high school girl or guy that's dating that yeah. wants a good Christian man or woman to marry to have a family with, that is great. Prioritize that for sure. Yeah. But it's okay to want to get along with them, to want them to be funny, to want to be attracted to them, to want to enjoy them. Those are good and things. And maybe that's why we want to talk about this because I feel like I almost like, I feel like we almost need to give you like permission. Like, <laughs> not really. Wait. But like, I feel like there were moments where I needed someone to look at me and be like, like even for me, like not put pressure on like, it's okay that like you have expectations or like standards like mm -hmm. of course like or desires or does yeah desires things that are like might seem secondary but also like marcus is saying even when like i don't know even just like the amount of time you're spending together there is a reality of like you need to work like you need to have yeah. a, a dynamic where like and you can work through things yeah absolutely and, well, and, and marcus and i are not like we're we not will saying grow over the next 80 years of our marriage. Yeah, but, absolutely. But we will enjoy each other and get along while we do it. Not all the time, but at a base level. Yeah. And, and that's, I just feel like that's so important. Yeah. Because there's so many hard things about walking through life and to choosing a life partner is incredibly important. Absolutely. Yeah. But, but to sum it up, marriage is supposed to glorify the Lord and it is supposed to be a celebration of a communion between two believers that mirrors the communion between Christ and the church. And the biggest part of that is salvation, is a common salvation, and is a, you know, a centering 100%. around the Lord. Yeah. But also, that's a celebration. It's it's a it's a coming together of two souls to become one soul. And you can get along with that other soul. You can enjoy that other person. Yeah. And I think the Lord, like... Also, like, delights in, like, our delight in marriage, you know? Like, yeah. there is a way in which that, like, our our friendship, our companionship to each other, like, our relationship, like, yeah. it honors the Lord because we really enjoy each other. And because yeah. we enjoy each other, it is a lot easier for us to glorify the Lord together. Yeah, And absolutely. I know that might sound silly, but I think when you're processing, like, well, but, like, he really loves the Lord, but, like, I just don't, I don't feel like we, like, fit together, but, like, he loves yeah. the Lord. And, like, yes, but, like, it's okay if, like, yeah. you don't work with someone who loves the Lord. That is okay. So, anyways, I think that we just wanted to chat about that because we yeah. just talked about it recently. Well, I think it's encouraging even to say to, like, a young girl or a young guy, like, it's okay to want to pursue someone that you enjoy. And that is totally okay. And, yes, focus on, you know, a relationship with the Lord and how they will lead you or how you can lead them or how you can um, grow together in Christ. But it's okay to pray and desire, pray for and desire a friend in marriage because and I that's always, a super sweet thing. Yeah. And I always prayed for like, I know it sounds funny, but I always prayed for someone who would just like make me laugh. Like Marcus yeah. genuinely makes me laugh in every scenario more than anyone on the face of the planet. I'm going to laugh just thinking about it. But truly, and like, do you know how many moments, like, like the Lord has totally answered that prayer from me, like yeah. in Marcus. But do you know and how many moments person. that is actually 
been such a gift to our marriage because yeah. I prayed for that. I prayed for that. And Marcus, and there are a million times that we have had the stupidest of squabbles and like yeah. Marcus will look at me and I will die laughing. Like truly. <laughs> and it sounds like something so little, but like it's I love, it's so helpful. I love yeah. that about our relationship. And the Lord answered that seemingly small, silly prayer in Marcus for me. And I just, I love that because he is truly my best friend. And I got you, babe. that's why we also love doing this together because there's no one else I would rather do this with. Well, our encouragement for you <laughs> is trust the Lord, but pray for a spouse that helps you glorify the Lord. That you can glorify the Lord together and that can be in enjoying each other. And yeah, that's just our encouragement for today. Pray for your spouse that and pray for the little things because the little things aren't silly they are yeah. desires that the lord probably has given you for a reason even if you are praying for someone to be funny <laughs> that, and that's awesome the and that's little okay. things are built up over the years are huge Humongous. much bigger than and we're saying that just coming up on two years of marriage and i already feel that i yeah. feel the way of that so much every single day there's lots of moments where we need to laugh and enjoy each other much more than we need to be so attracted to each other that we have to have sex or that we like are so like encouraged by this or that about the other person that are like massive things. Yes, obviously it, that and shapes the little things our build walk, up, but the little things yeah. are super important and yeah. it's okay to pray for those things. Absolutely. We love you guys. We hope this encouraged you. We'll see you guys. And tomorrow. we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.